30 degrees. We are in Selkirk, New York. I'm gonna try to get this out here. I don't have skis on this airplane, so I'm gonna try to get off the ground pretty quickly. And uh, we'll try to take it around and do a little uh, scenic shooting. Let's do a control check first. Left is left, right is right. Elevator, back goes up, forward goes down. Rudder, left, right. Uh, that's all good. Hold mode. That no, wasn't in hold, that wasn't good. Do this. wanting to dip that left wing just a little bit Put that camera on there so that's zero throttle now just coasting in behaving just a little bit different than normal with the two cameras on it. Oh, I kind of lost the perception there for a second. So it gets low and slow with uh, with the two cameras on there, and uh, the wind can definitely get a hold of it. So we're flying out now. do is leave leave a little throttle on as we're coming around and I think that will help So flying it on 3S, um, and I would definitely say that having two cameras on it is affecting the flight a little bit. There's full speed. was a little rough we dropped a camera I don't think there's 
any damage to it. Uh, looks like it's still rolling. So everything looks good. The flight went good. Uh, we only flew uh, five, four, four minutes and I was getting a 10.2 volt alarm on a 3S. So definitely uh, the cold weather is definitely draining down the battery a little bit. Probably could have done myself a favor and maybe somehow blocked off the ventilation so it wasn't sucking the ice cold air in. But uh, we'll pick back up after we check the batteries. All right, take two here. We're going to take it up, bring it around. Last battery, uh, we flew for four minutes and uh, we got. We had 43% left on it. So definitely getting a little less flight time with the ice cold temperatures. You can see uh, our takeoff tracks right there from our last takeoff. So left, right, elevator. Yep, all good. Let's do it. Field. Nervous. Definitely handles uh, pretty well. Uh, slightly, slightly affected by having the two cameras on it. But nothing too bad. There's full throttle there. Definitely gets a little squirrely on full throttle. I'm thinking because that wing camera is uh creating drag. Now, I'm at zero throttle now, and I would estimate, yeah, see when it starts to get reduced airspeed, it gets a little, so at high airspeed, it gets a little squirrely with uh, one camera off to the side like that, and at really low speeds, it gets squirrely, and the wind just hits. Definitely behaves differently a haul in the weight around. It'll usually just kind of glide along and uh, stay relatively flat. Whereas now when it starts to get slow or it gets real fast, 
it's uh, pitching around a little more. Uh, the titanium trainer has a 59 inch wingspan and I think we'll see less of a response from that aircraft to the cameras. This is a 49 inch wingspan uh, and this is a 3S system so it's just a smaller, lighter, smaller, lighter airplane. I think when we get up there with the titanium trainer with a, a 6S battery in it, um, you know, and 10 more inches of wing, uh, we'll, we'll get a smoother, less responsive, to the wood. I give this a try on this airplane and uh, it's doing pretty well I mean it certainly doesn't have any sort of issue doing it uh, I like this airplane because it just packs up so easy and um, you know I can just throw it in my truck in one piece and uh, you know kind of quickly uh, get it around whereas I can't put the titanium trainer in the back of my truck without taking the wings off of it so then when I get to the field, you know, I've got to put the wings on and everything like that. Whereas with this plane, you know, I just stick uh, the wheels in that double bungee cord that I bought. And uh, it holds it right in one spot. And that's it. And I don't have to do anything else. It's kind of nice. That double bungee cord also has, it's, it's got like a plastic ring in the middle. So the airplane can't slide past that point. And it's also got these uh, rubber uh, pieces on it that you can slide in that really hold the plane in place. I and mean, that that little that system works really well. This battery seems to be holding up a little better. I'll tell you, I think that other battery has been overflown at one point or another. So that's six minutes, wow. So I don't wanna play around. We'll bring it in for a landing with the cold. I think this battery is good. This is a much better battery. Shooting the gap here between the trees. So what happened was uh, with that going to hold mode here, on this little camera, uh, I used a curved mount and, it, and the surface of that wing is just really not curved enough. And the, uh, the double-sided tape let go. So good thing that these GoPros are pretty tough little cameras. So this is the second time in a row this thing let go on landing and this little camera took a nice little tumble through the snow. You can see it's all wet and um, Hopefully, I mean, it seems to be working fine. The numbers are still running, seems to be recording good. But there it is, the OMP Bighorn. So 49 inch wingspan, 3S system. And uh, we'll get some telemetry data on uh, maximum speed there and take a look at where it starts getting unstable for the minimum speed. Uh, flying uh, one camera up underneath and one off the right wing. And uh, we'll get some shots there and see how it looks. All right, so we're gonna take it up here for flight number three. And uh, we just have the one camera mounted now, so we should be able to get a little lower, fly a little, uh, little harder. G 
January, or I'm sorry, December 27th out here. December 27th is 30 degrees. Normal Hold off, left, right, elevator up, down, rudder, good to go, holds off. We have almost no wind. Uh, it's about 28, 29 degrees. Uh, well, it's probably up around 30 degrees now. Uh, so pretty nice for this time of year. Oh yeah, okay. Definitely feel like it flies a little sportier with uh, just the one camera on it. I feel like it also responds better to the lower speeds. The wind is crabbing it. It's crabbing it. Take it out, we'll do the teardrop. Uh, hopefully you guys aren't blinded by the sun there. I'm gonna cut to the right, swing it around. To fly with the wind, so not the best way to approach the runway, but yeah, and sure enough, it's like it's getting a little squirrely. I definitely feel like it flies different with only one camera. Um, it's much more forgiving. Um, it just doesn't it gets a little uh, it gets a little squirrely when it's going slow with the two cameras on there. I think especially because the second one is out on one wing. wanting to roll it over. We got a little wind now. We probably have a good 10 mile an hour wind. So there's full throttle. Now, and that's on 3S. So let's see what we get for numbers with that. Bring it around. Oh yeah, that's a much better approach to the field. I'm still a little bit off to one side. That last battery was at 10% when I flew it for seven minutes. So the cold is definitely having an effect on the batteries.
super fly and I'm gonna really come too low, but you should have a nice view of the field from, from there. Not gonna cross our, our safety line. We've got no wind now, so I'm going to try to fly down the runway the other way while we have no wind. That's pretty high. <laughs> what a great airplane, I'll tell you. The thing uh, really does fly well. Uh, tons of power, power for days on 3S. Yeah, there should be some good views there of the snow. And a lot of the snow is melted, but the ground, I'll tell you, the ground is frozen solid. Whew, man, that sun is bright. I'm glad I wasn't any lower. We'll bring it in for a nice long approach. Coming into the wind, do a nice long approach here. I'm a little higher than I expected to be. off to one side. I'm going to pull it down just a little bit earlier this time. I don't want to go down to 10% again. Boy, that wind really slowed it down. So this is another one of those airplanes that really taxis good. I mean, uh, this thing taxis like a scared animal. I mean, there's snow on the ground out here. And... So there it is, OMP Bighorn doing a snow fly out here. Ground frozen solid, snow on the ground. Uh, and this thing's a champ. Uh, flying it on 3S 2200 batteries and uh, getting all the six and a half minutes and coming down at like 15, 20%. So, I mean, probably be better off, you know, holding, you know, landing it at like five minutes and having a little more left, but it uh, should be fine. Bring the batteries home and charge them up. Go into hold mode, pick it up. Get it over here to the stand.